fired! Shots fired! You may remember this footage that we brought you from an incident last November when Deputy Jesse Hernandez of the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office heard sounds he believed were gunshots. He then opened fire on his own vehicle with the suspect still inside. However, that sound was actually an acorn bouncing off of his vehicle. Deputy Hernandez later resigned and an investigation was conducted. The conclusion of that investigation was that Deputy Hernandez used excessive force in the incident. However, he will not face criminal charges. Although the suspect was not injured, he says the situation left a lasting impact. New Channel 7's Candace Newman spoke with attorneys for Marquise Jackson, who was inside that car. She joins us live in the studio with the latest. Candace? Barony said the ink is still fresh on this lawsuit Jackson filed today in federal court. Now, as you can see, there's 11 defendants named. Jackson's attorneys say the aim is to hold supervisors accountable for what happened. Along with compensation that matches the proof of damages, Jackson's attorneys say they want policy to be examined. It's something the lawsuit calls for a jury trial to determine. Jackson said today he'll likely never feel comfortable in the presence of law enforcement again. While Jackson was not hit with a bullet, his attorney says his case is still important. The people who live through these violent encounters and tragedies uh, may be overlooked uh, and uh, felt as, oh, well, they got to live. Well, that's not cool. And that's not what the Constitution says. Uh, how we have to live our lives. We're waiting to hear back from Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office to see if they've been served with this brand new lawsuit. A spokesperson tells us they do not comment on pending litigation and referenced back to the prior statements and documents and videos previously released. Barry Nisa. All right, thank you, Candace. You can view those videos and what's led up to today on WJHG.com.